pump it back up, it's got a... Okay. That's designed to pick a whole four-wheeler up. Well, that's the new tires. They are a... Looks like a 400 by 12. Got them at the local farm co-op for, what'd you say, $62 a piece. We will get the back tires aired up on this thing and maybe see about cleaning the carburetor and the gas tank enough to get it to drive over to the house so Grandpa can pressure wash it down. They may have been liquid filled. I hope this old fuel pump works. I thought it was gravity fed for some reason. It tanks higher than the car. Well, yeah, almost higher than the car. Yeah, they're about level. Well, actually, the carburetor's higher than the tank. That's just a poor guess. Let's see. I've got to find my big screwdriver. We're going to go to the rebuild bench. Go ahead and try the other some dirt in the bowl. Is it supposed to be a square or a, or something else in your? It's recording. Okay. How can you tell? The red numbers. Up okay. Not much crud in it. Well, that gasket looks shot. But the bowl clean. It's got dirt. Yeah. I mean. Cleaner, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I've got a can. I had to rescue down the floorboard and it was fucked away. Uh. <laughs> that may be tough to get that jet out. If it'll blow through it, it doesn't matter, does it? Or Maybe. Kind of. Kinda.
just where you can do the air hole you strip into it and pull it right out of there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Try and show you down in the tank there. I don't know if it'll may not be enough light. Yeah. It's got a little bit of rust. Nothing unheard of. Some hard old hose there. not plugged up. I don't know what kind of fuel line that is, but some clear stuff. Well, I think we're going to hook the jumper cables up, see if we have any spark. Points need filed. I think I'll go find some sandpaper. I'll try and, try and touch the points up. Okay. Took my voltmeter over here. We verified we had power to the points. We had power to the coil. So I took, I cleaned the, took my, uh, pocket knife and scratch the the points a little more and see that spark down there if you look up here at the screwdriver that we have stuck in the spark plug I don't know if you can see that on camera no you can hear it though with my eye, I can see it. So what we're gonna do is put the spark plug back in it and then we'll see if we can make the spark plug spark now. Maybe you can see it on the spark plug. Put another one on there. Sure. Yeah, you see it? Huh? See the plugs fire? Yep, I do. All right. So now we can put the claw plug back in it. I took my pocket knife and just scraped the fire out of the face of the points and. It's a kind of red spark, but yeah, it's not real I'd good. I'd say some new points might be, a, might be in order. Investment. Ready? Ready. Thing should pop and snort now. Let me back the Suburban up and we'll just jump off it.
Well, I don't hear it either. and a condenser would be a... I got the power there. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's open and... Okay. 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 Yep, yeah. again. 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 Yep. Act like the points are working. Yep. Give a plug, it's not very good. It's got a blue spark. Yeah, but <laughs> something happens when you screw it in. That's uh The throttle shaft is so worn out on this that it's sucking air around it that we can't get it to run right. So we've got a new carburetor on order and we'll be putting it on in a future video.
bar on it. <laughs> Started the bleaching process. What? I guess. I looked it up online and it's a be a mid 70s 1614 power team. Um has a 14 horse and it should be a 16 inch rear wheel, I think, if I understood them right. Okay. That makes it a 1614. Uh, they had smaller motors and, and bigger motors. I wouldn't mind a bigger motor. They had an 18 horse and a 22 horse twin cylinder, I think. How big were the wheels on there? They went up to a 24 inch wheel. And they went down to a 12 inch wheel and a 12 horsepower engine. Dad, what's your... That's your light.
going to take the in the for you. <laughs> Zero SS steel wool pads that has soap built into it. You take that, and I bet if we I mean, scrub that, that's actually like it's, etched into the paint. Or I bet we take a lot of it out, but if we sand it and repaint it, it yeah, don't matter. Man. I need to get a good set of hammer and dollies. truth that metal sort of wants to go back where it used to be. Yeah. I've just got the wrong dolly and the wrong hammer. <laughs> That bucket of stuff I got out of the floorboard down there and see if that cover might have got. That makes me wish I had the 22 horse or whatever it is. I've never seen one personally. Uh, I saw one that was bigger. Just for the yeah, uh, just for that first road turns back down into Cherokee, Cherokee there at the top of the lake. Yeah, and he had one in there for sale with his neighbors. I didn't realize it was that much bigger though. I mean, or worse. Than that. I I don't think they're all about the same. Yeah, it would. All the way around it, maybe. It would look pretty good.
It just started going everywhere. That's because it was held through the on. well through the gyro off when you hold it in the wrong. Oh. It wants to go back to right. <laughs> Picky. If we had a real hammer and dolly, we could actually. Yeah. You know. Well, to get it any cleaner, we're gonna have to do get a little more aggressive. We're gonna have to build that battery box back. I'm gonna try and find the original style seat and put on it. And then, I don't know, we may give it a good, put some shine juice on it and clean it up. And if it looks good, maybe he won't want to paint it. But otherwise, I think we'll probably do a little sanding and painting. Going to order a new carburetor for it. And go through, clean the fuel tank. If I can find a reproduction plastic tank, that might be the way to go. If not, we'll clean this one up. And uh, I saw several of these that had stacks on them. So we'll be doing some kind of, the mufflers burn out anyway, but we need to do a muffler. And if we can find a stack, we may do a stack out of it. Anyway, what do you say, Zane? Well, thanks for watching. We're gone.